Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a good day. In the video, you're gonna see me animating another piece for a different competition that I plan on doing to help out a friend. Well, he's not really a friend, he's more of an associate. I just, I, I was just helping him with his work. I wanna talk about the impact that anime has had on me throughout my life and all the different stuff that it's taught me. When I was younger, I was growing up, there was a lot of stuff to watch for cartoons and stuff, but I liked staying up late. And I ended up going on to Toonami, watching a bunch of stuff on there that taught me about anime, so. And that was my first introduction to it. It was just going on to Nami and just watching a bunch of stuff like that. Like Inuyasha, Big O, Naruto, Bleach, all that shit. Fucking love that shit, man. Uh, but there was just a bunch of stuff you could learn from anime too. Like, I feel like anime is one of the best tools that can showcase and represent good stories. It's like a good, it's a good way to show stories. That just not like compelling stories. If, it, if anime wants you to, it can make you feel sad, it can make you feel bad, it can make you feel like you want to go on an emotional journey and stuff like that. It can do all types of crazy shit. It's wild. I love anime. Naruto taught me to never give up on my dreams, no matter the odds, no matter the circumstances. All that crazy stuff. At least the first, the first couple of seasons did, because he was an underdog. Because like he was, no one was fucking with him like that. As soon as it got on to like Naruto Shippuden, then he started getting overpowered. It was weird. Now Rock Lee represents it more than Naruto does. Fuck with Rock Lee so hard, bro. They did him dirty. I'm so mad that they did that shit dirty to him like that. There's no excuse for that. They need to get my man. Stop sleeping on my man, Rock Lee. Give that man more screen time. Get him doing more dope shit. Fuck. One Piece taught me if you can get a good group of friends that will are like willing to look out for you and you're willing to look out for them, you can take on the whole world. You can take on anything. Fuck the government. Fuck the other shit that's going on, man. Like, you could, you could do anything you want to. If you have a good group of friends come together and you guys just want to do crazy shit together, nothing's going to stop you. That's what One Piece taught me. Just have a crazy ass adventure with your friends. It'll be fucking awesome. Bleach taught me to have that dog in me at all times. In the show, yes, it's always about, like, the soul society's always getting, like, fucked over. and you know, it's, it's repetitive. The saving grace in that is that there's a lot of character development for Ichigo. So Ichigo is a powerful person. He's, like, he's super strong. He's got all types of crazy shit in him. The thing is, is that he holds back through a majority of his fights and stuff. He's fighting his inner self at one point, and he's like, look, man, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna help listen to this dude. You, you're not willing to kill somebody. And uh, Ichigo didn't want to kill anybody at that point in time. He wasn't willing to go through that thing. He's like, it was kill or be killed. He wasn't, he didn't know if he was ready to go through that. And he was just trying to figure out what he should do. And like, yeah, I agree with his inner self. I feel like there's this good quote saying that I would rather be a samurai in a garden than a gardener in a battlefield. And that just illustrates it so perfectly. Like you need to get that mentality through, like some some people just need that mentality. A lot of people need that mentality, especially to get through life like this. Cause life is tough, man, and it's rough. And Bleach taught me that shit, so it's fucking awesome. There's a bunch of other stuff that you could learn from anime too. Like take Full Metal Alchemist for it. For instance, there's so many different things you can learn from Full Metal Alchemist. Obviously, the main one being equivalent exchange. You can't get something without giving something a, like of equal value. There's obviously that, but there's also different things like valuing the connections of people. It's like the father, for instance, like he just he wanted to purge himself of his humanity, but doing that actually was his, part of his downfall. Be embracing humanity is what actually was his downfall because they, they people relied on other human beings because they're not perfect human beings they're just they're just living life and it's it's rough it's sloppy it's messy it's it's just how it is father wanted to be this perfect being he's trying to become god but he can't do it he doesn't because he he, he just he sacrifices so many people's lives separates his aspects of his personality into different beings into the seven incarnate like greed lust envy all that crazy stuff pride wrath all that shit and he ends up losing because all the humans help each other out he and they all end up taking down his aspects of his personality taking him down eventually gets a rough fight though man like this shit is crazy and then there's like i'm not even a religious person the fight between the fear and scar where fear is looking down on him like he doesn't believe in his god and shit like that it's just wild dude and then and like scar has to fight this man is going to fuck people up over and over again like this dude was a menace he took down tanks he took down a whole army he was not playing around he was fucking that shit up he was crazy like that that guy was a demon ironically enough what you could consider an act of God was actually his downfall because there was a flash of light that blinded him with by his sword, and that was his uh, Scar's opportunity to attack him and end up killing him. That could technically, in itself, be looked at as an act of God or the will of God helping out Scar in that fight. Take it what you will. Again, I'm not religious, so 
you know, it is what it is. Inuyasha, that was a phenomenal show about a love story. And I think it was just trying to find true love and just working through all hardships with your loved, your significant other. I believe that's what that main story was because there's a lot of different stuff that goes on. But like, even in the end with, damn it, Sango and, and that monk, they end up getting together. They all end up just having kids and just like living just like going through life with their significant other and just enjoying the time and then there's like things like take trigun for instance oh my god trigun was that shit dude duality of humans good storytelling i already made a video about that but that's a great story you should go check it out if you guys want to sorry about the self insert but you know it is what it is gurren lagan gurren lagan oh my god good show fuck the odds fuck all that shit fuck the the weird shit that says you can't do that shit you can do it if you reach for the heavens there's the drill that will pierce the heavens sight that will create the heavens that shit goes hard dude soul eater oh my god soul eater was so fucking hype bro i'm so mad that they didn't wait till the manga was finished before animating their set if i could get them to if studio bones could remake it reanimate soul eater bro i would be so fucking happy bro because they need a remake on that shit real quick like pronto like that shit was hard crazy dumb stupid hard the bonds of humans bonds of people like people bonding over humanity and, and like like them cherishing their shit because like in order for them they have meisters and they have weapons and in order for the weapon the weapon and the meister to be like compatible they need to have a resonance of the soul to like where their wavelength the souls of their wavelengths are on the same level and it's just fucking awesome to see that shit dude like you see all these crazy characters that are going through life and just like having connections with their souls and stuff like and there's a shinigami that just rejects like he decides not to fear anymore can't get rid of fear because if you get rid of fear then the, what's the point of life that's no, there's no point of life it's just you're just existing at that point it's wild and there's ninja scrolls oh my god bro i forgot about ninja scrolls bro oh god bro that fucking crazy ass ronin i love that motherfucker that dude go hard everything that motherfucker go hard damn what else what else did i watch back when i was younger god i watched so many fucking anime i can't even remember all of them to be honest with you i'd have to go back and watch it um look at it again see if see if i can remember dude all that different anime just built up the person i am they gave me a set of morals and values that i have right now and it's just a good way that that shapes and it shaped and molded me to what who i am today it just shows that the stuff that you watch can definitely in effect, uh, impact what you who you are and what you do clearly anime had a big impact on me because as soon as i watched an episode of anime i think my first thing i watched was big o dude as soon as i saw that shit i knew that's what i want to do for the rest of my life i wanted to make people feel the same way i felt when i watched anime like it was just exciting exhilarating it was like this holy shit dude like it was nothing i ever felt before like it was more realistic it was more grounded to earth it wasn't this disney like oh my god there's people who like doing crazy shit like don't get me wrong disney had some great ass bangers back in that day but they were also like more fun kid friendly it, like it was cool but like i liked more of the edgy stuff like that crazy shit that had that gritty realism and that shit just goes hard dude like it goes dumb stupid hard i can't get enough of that shit i love it that's just how i am i just feel like that's just it's, 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 it's a soul it's a part of my soul it's like a big deep chunk that's molded me into who i am today and it just fucking rock. like i love that part dude like because it got me into my music taste rock god i love some of the rock that, like some of the taste in music that they go through is just fucking wild they got that smooth crazy jazz that crazy ass electric guitar when things get ramped and amped up that fucking orchestra shit when stuff's like you see a crazy villain like when someone's doing like opera or shit like that dude fucking the music excels at that shit and i didn't even know i i couldn't even imagine that in a bunch of different like disney movies it just anime is just awesome dude that's borderline anime is fucking awesome i know people it's mainstream now but fuck it back in the day it wasn't and mainstream and anime was like a crazy ass thing that was wild to me and i just love it dude it's just a fucking great time if you guys like what i had to say like comment subscribe if you really liked what i had to say mayhaps you check out my store mayhaps not okay bye